Okay, now that I showed you how it works, let's actually do it. First, I gotta turn this light off because I am working with a light sensitive product. I got the screen there. And I'm gonna tape my calculator onto the screen. Now, the important thing is on this, there are two sides the emulsion side and the film side. If you're ever in doubt, this little piece of film never touches the screen. So I'm going to go and tape it onto the screen, just like that. Now it's ready to be exposed. Let's go to the exposure unit. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it in my exposure unit. Get it all set. Punch in a time. Now remember, we were just guessing on time. Uh, let's just pick a minute. Remember I said you double whatever your guess is. So I'll, I say it's gonna be one minute exposure. Let's make it two. That's gonna be two minutes. And I'll draw a vacuum. Pop it open. Remove the positive. I'm gonna take this into the washout area now. All right, now I'm gonna wash this out. Now I want you to remember, this is a calculator. Parts of this screen are gonna look bad and parts are gonna look good. That's okay, it's a calculator. It's just helping you determine your proper exposure. Now remember, area A is the one I'm really concerned with. B and C, they're secondary. Okay, I don't know if you can notice this, but look down here. See how these lines, they just, they literally fall right off the screen. But up here, they're holding. Obviously that's underexposed. This may or may not be overexposed, it depends. What you gotta do is dry the screen and really look at it. But I'm gonna wash it out a little bit more. Now you can examine a little closer. You can see now this one's starting to fall apart. Obviously that's underexposed. Here, even here, it's a little bit underexposed, but it gets better and better. Look at this one, nice and sharp. That's the way it's supposed to be. So far, this is looking like the right exposure, but really the best way to tell is to dry your screen and examine it under a microscope or at least with a loop to see how sharp those lines are. Let's just say, for example, this is the right one. Well, remember I guessed one minute, we doubled it to two. Well, it looks like two minutes is probably the right one. But say this one had looked the best. Two minutes times 0.5, one minute. That's how you use these. These are all multipliers. That's the whole idea. This is your tool. This is your calculator. This is telling you what your proper exposure is on this mesh with this film. That's all there is to it. If you do this on every mesh, on everything you change around, say you did a different light source, different mesh count, different mesh color, different film, you should use a calculator because it's gonna help you save time, you get better stencils. It's a tool and it really does work.